Hey everybody, my name is Taylor and welcome back to the Motor Swap Ducati Project. Uh, if you're a new viewer, don't watch this one, go back. Well, you can watch this one, but it's not about a Motor Swap Ducati at all. It's about my adventures with my other Ducati to Laguna Seca to get myself prepped to ride the Motor Swap Ducati because that thing is gonna be a handful. So let me show you my bike and we'll get this thing loaded up and get to California. And this is my 2017 Ducati Monster 1200S. And if you know me, you know that I will go off ad nauseum about how much I love this bike. Because in the two years that I've had it, I've only fallen more and more head over heels for it. And the first thing that got to me was the color. Now, I'm an old VW Audi nerd, and some of you guys know that that is Aviator Gray. But in Ducati world, it is liquid concrete gray, and this is the only bike that ever got it. And it really didn't need much. I got some 1098R wheels for cheap off eBay, some Termi slip-ons with an EvoTech bracket, it's already got good Brembos and a couple little Corsa garage bits here and there. And of course, ubiquitous and necessary on this thing, oh, the steering stabilizer really, really helps coming out of corners. And the last mod that it really got was an Oberon clutch slave. Other than that, I didn't need to touch a dang thing. It's just about perfect. So, let's load up the bike, let's get out of here. Before we leave, for science. You can't beat the sound of a turmy. It's probably gonna die when I do this, but. Not bad. Because why else would you do a slip on? So, we are all loaded up and ready to go, but unfortunately this thing's radiator sprung a leak last night in the form of a crack about that big in the top of the freaking radiator, so I fixed it. Uh, it took forever last night, late last night, so I'm in an incredible hurry right now. It is way later than I wanted to leave, but everything is fixed, everything's good, bike is packed, car is packed. Let's go to Laguna Seca, but first, I'll meet you in Concord, California at the Soso Shop in Concord. Seca. And about nine and a half hours later, boom, we've landed at Soso -So Cycles of Concord, California, where we have BMW, Ducati, Yamaha, and the new guy, KTM. So let's take a little tour. And once we're in this behemoth, once you look left and right, you are in our BMW showroom which we're still working on a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, we've got a whole new thing off to the right. You can see a bunch of construction, but this is our BMW section with the Roots R9T. We built this thing to honor our partnership with the Oakland Roots. And in the other corner, we have the Engrave Digger. Some of you have seen that around. We also have a bunch of cool stuff hitting, sitting around the shop, uh, like photos from some dude that take pictures of bikes every now and then. And then we have the Ducati section with a few bikes hanging around. We also have the lovely tuning fork brand Yamaha and our brand new KTM section. We're pretty stoked about this. This is a fairly recent addition, uh, and it's really rad to see the orange brand in one of our stores, especially when one of our guys rides and races them. So we made him a custom suit. Who is it, you ask? It's this guy, it's Lennon. All right, we are at So So Cycles of Concord, and we are riding into the city. We have a half tank of gas, we should be able to make it there. Pretty easily, 680, 2480. Let's do this. Hey everybody, you join me on the way to San Francisco. I'm riding these freeways for the first time. Oh shit, we're about to go through a tunnel. Hell yeah. Look at that cool architecture. Looks like Gotham City from like Batman or some shit. Okay. Let's do this. Oh. Let's let those guys get a little... 
everybody. <laughs> you motorcycle nerds know exactly what I mean. Oh, that this is the best sounding tunnel I think I've ever been in. Get a little less. There we go. Ready? One more. Oh. Man, oh man, that's a that is a very good sounding tunnel. And you guys in California don't get the pleasure of having proper slip-ons anymore. And while that's not great for the environment that everybody else still has them, I gotta say, man, they do sound uh, sound pretty good. Okay. Tunnel two. never gets old. Okay, Bay Bridge. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bay Bridge going into San Francisco. There's uh, Alcatraz over there if you can see it. Um, there's Oakland, Berkeley. And there's San Francisco in front of us. telling you guys I don't actually remember where to go. Hey buddy. Just saying hi. Boop. And my bike to work for the first time working for Salsa. So there you go, everybody. There's my beautiful, beloved monster in front of the Embedded Motorcycles of San Francisco. San Francisco has always been one of my very favorite cities in the nation, and it's just a pleasure that I get to come down here and hang out at this rad store on 6th and Bryant in the city. And I believe it used to be a Levi's photo studio, uh, and there is Mike giving us a hearty hello. But anyway, we look off and we see the interior and you can see these beautiful wooden beams everywhere and the lovely skylights. It is just a gorgeous store and I am very, very happy that I get to work here. And you've probably noticed that there's only BMWs in here and that is because this was our first shop. This is where SoSo -So Cycles started. My friend Bob designed a shirt on the left. Anyway, we also have really nice lounges in here. It's a really good place to be, filled with wonderful, fun people and a whole bunch of unbelievably talented service techs ready to help you out with all your BMW needs. But anyway, let's get to Laguna Seca. Good morning, everybody. It is 6.45 a.m. and we're headed to Laguna Seca. So, let's do it. And if you found yourself wondering, why the hell is SoSo -So at a track day? Well, it's because we sponsor Fun Track Days, which is an awesome track day provider here in Northern California. And we bring demo bikes. We will let you take these bikes out on the track to see if you like them in a situation where you're gonna use them. Because who wants to ride them on the street anyway? And you can see our beautiful G310RR right there in front, but we are here to talk about this bike. And in particular, we're here to go very quickly on this bike around a track and I've always wanted to ride this bike at. So let's do it. Okay, it is day two here at Laguna Seca. And I know that I did not record much yesterday because yesterday I really wanted to concentrate on kind of going fast and getting used to everything, getting used to the bike um, on this track specifically. And I did really, really well. Uh, I got a coaching session from Mr. World Champion Moto2 and World of, or Moto America World Champion Tony Elias, which was really, really cool. Uh, he went out for a session with me because he borrows our street fighter all the time and was asking what he could pay us. And I said, give me a session. He did. And when a world champion tells you that your lines are perfect, I got to tell you, that's, that's pretty awesome. So I'm working on more consistency. Uh, he gave me a couple pointers for body position and I'm setting up the suspension a little better with some gentlemen next door uh, who are filling in for Dave Moss today. 
Um, his dad's out sick, unfortunately, which really sucks. Um, oh, damn. Um, but anyway, so today's going to be a really good day. I will actually record on camera or on bike footage today. I will give you guys some of my good laps or what I consider to be good, my good laps. Uh, I'm very excited. And yesterday was just work. I really wanted to head down and work, so I didn't record, but I knew we had two days. So hopefully today I will be able to show you an impressive lap yesterday. So come with me. But as we come through Rainy Curve, catching up with the G310 RR, I'm going to tell you what we're actually going to do. I've decided I'm going to show you the last two laps of my favorite session I think I've ever done on any track anywhere. I'm on my favorite bike, I'm on my favorite track on the planet, I've decided I don't really care about lap times, I'm just going to have a bunch of fun. So what I want you to watch for is the traction control light next lap going up the Ray Hall straight into the corkscrew, because that is me completely roaching my rear tire and enjoying the absolute shit out of it. Anyway, enjoy. And there it is, everybody. I know it's a little bit of a departure from the normal episodes, well, quite a bit of a departure, but I hope you enjoyed it, because I sure enjoyed making it, obviously. But anyway, we should be back to our regularly scheduled program next episode, because the frame is almost out of powder coat, and that just means we'll be able to do episodes like this on the back of a 1098 Swap 748. 
So I hope you join me for it. And I hope you keep watching. Because I really like doing this. And I hope you really like watching it. So until next time, everybody, thank you very much. See you around.